Hey, do you know how to cook? Of course, I can boil eggs, make chai, cook maggi. So these were my recipes. And on the other hand, there were dishes like Shahi Paneer, Murg Musallam, Dam Alu Lakhravi. And I was like, I cannot cook these. So let's just uh, order. Plus, I always thought that once I start earning, I'll just hire a cook. But the main reason why I did not learn cooking was rebellion. Because if boys don't cook, then why should I cook? But then reality happened. And I learned two harsh truths about life. Number one, it is mission impossible to find a good cook who is clean and hygienic. And number two, both boys and girls should learn how to cook. See, eating out is good. It adds variety. But you can't do that every day. It will screw your body. And all the fitness classes and nutrition certifications taught me one basic thing. A home-cooked meal takes care of your digestive system. A good digestive system takes care of your health. Good health makes you active. That makes you productive. And productivity leads to a great career. Good friends, more money. And that is how you become the superhero of your story. So if you want to become a superhero, you need to learn how to cook. Hence proved. So today I'm going to tell you what all you need in the kitchen to start cooking. How I transitioned from Maggi to Palak Paneer and Biryani. But most importantly, in the end, I'll give you a bonus tip. So that even if you hate cooking, you'll start enjoying it. But before that, if you like me or if you like what I'm saying, make sure you hit that big fat like button. Let's begin. So today I'm going to tell you how you can learn cooking like I did in just 5 days. Let's start with day 1. Before you can even think of cooking, you first need to organize your kitchen. So take out your notes because I'm going to tell you what all you need to shop for from the supermarket or your local sabji mandi. I have divided the kitchen supplies into 6 categories. First is spices. Let's start with the basics. Turmeric, salt, lal mirch, jeera, rai, coriander powder, jeera powder and garam masala powder. That's all the spices you will ever need. The final category is hara masala, kothmir, kariya pak and hari mirch. I strongly suggest that you buy them fresh every week. Next thing that you need in your kitchen are called staple items. These are the things that you must have in your kitchen. Onions, tomatoes, ginger garlic paste, uh, atta, rice, bread and oil. In case you want to know which oil is best for weight loss and for health, then check out this video. I have left the link in the description. The next are vegetables. The basic veggies are aloo, bhindi, mutter, cauliflower and mushrooms. You can make like a gazillion permutations and combinations using just these. For salad, get some carrot, cucumber, mooli or beetroot. Just get one of these every week uh, and also some lemon. I know I missed a lot of vegetables, uh, especially the ones that are local to your state. But it is your job to find out what they are and then tell me which state you're from and what is the vegetable that is local to you. For example, I am from Hyderabad and we have uh, Ambade Ki Bhaji and I love Ambade Ki Bhaji. Anyway, next is milk products. Milk, paneer and curd. You will use these extensively if you graduate to making shahi items or even chicken because they make the dish Y-U-M yum. Especially curd. The fifth category is pulses. In dal, we have masoor dal, urad dal, moong dal, tur dal and chana dal. Chana dal is like my absolute favorite dal. And then come the beans. Rajma, kala chana and kabuli chana which is used to make chole by the way. You don't have to buy all of them. For starters, just buy one dal and one bean. And the final category is non-veg. If you're non-vegetarian, then A, X is like the go-to breakfast option ever. Uh, B, chicken is the easiest thing to cook if you marinate it and time it right. Then you also have mutton, prawns, um, fish. It basically depends on what you like to eat. And that's all the things you need in your pantry. If you want me to make a separate video, a part 2, including the utensils and the kitchenware you need in your kitchen, then comment and let me know. 
Day two, breakfast. Now that my pantry is stacked, on day two I started simple by making an easy paneer sandwich for breakfast. First, grill two bread pieces. You can even use a normal pan. Take a bowl, grate paneer, grate some carrot, add a little curd, salt, pepper, mix it up, and my stuffing is ready. I just place it between two pieces of bread, and that's my breakfast. After that lip smacking breakfast, I slowly ease into day number three. On the third day, I made dal, and it is the easiest thing to make because now that you have your masalas, it's just a matter of adding them one after the other. Wash and soak the dal for 30 minutes. I usually mix two dals together, masoor and moong this time. In a cooker, add two spoons of filter oil, add jeera, turmeric, coriander powder, ginger garlic paste, and fry them a little. Now add a tomato. You can chop the tomato or make a paste. I like to make a paste. Add some red chili powder. Finally, add the soaked dal and fry for a minute. Add some water, salt, and close the cooker lid and wait for one whistle. In the end, add some kothmir if you want, and you are done. Make some rice, roast some papad, and your perfect home cooked meal is ready. Now let's advance from dal to vegetables. Day number four. The procedure to cook any dry Indian curry is this: add oil, zeera, onion, and fry till the onion turns golden brown. Now add adrak lesson, hari mirch, haldi, salt, dhania powder, and fry these masalas for a few seconds. Now to this mixture you can add any vegetable that you want. Aloo, gobi, mushroom, butter. I am making aloo gobi, so I'll first add aloo and then gobi. Close the lid and cook it on low flame. Add a little garam masala on top. Mix it well, and we are done. Thank God for whoever invented this procedure. You can cook any Indian dish. The different vegetables used and the quantity of spices is the reason why every dish tastes different. Day number five. Now, after you have graduated from the regular dry sabji, it is time to up your game. I call it the YouTube cooking. Suppose I want to cook something complicated like uh, palak paneer. I'll search for that dish on YouTube. Watch four to five videos. My aim is to find a recipe that is neither too complicated nor too simple. This is the one I like so far. I write down the recipe on a post-it and hang it on my fridge next to the other recipes I've collected over time. Now it's all about following the instructions to the dot. I first get all the ingredients ready and line up in order. And then the cooking begins. I'm not going to lie; it takes a little bit more effort than usual. So I reserve this only for Sundays. But it's all worth the effort because in the end, the dish turns out pretty great, actually. And for that, I cannot thank the cooking channels enough, especially Cook with Lubna, Kavita's Kitchen, Bong Eats, and a blog called Maika. But the lady that I absolutely adore is Nisha Madhulika. She literally taught me 70% of the cooking that I know. So if you want to learn how to cook, go to her channel and subscribe right away. And while you're there, can you please request her to do a collab with me? But all the YouTube cooking aside, the one thing that you should always, always know how to cook is your family recipe. My mother taught me how to make dosas, and my mommy taught me how to make biryani, and these are the two dishes that I make the best. In fact, I think half of my friends are friends with me because I make biryani on Eid. So, go ahead and tell me what is your favorite family dish. And while you do that, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon because I make health and wealth videos every Thursday only for you. And finally, here's the bonus tip. As soon as you enter the kitchen, do not expect to turn into Tarla Dalal or Sanjeev Kapoor. Sometimes you will put less salt. Sometimes you will put more adrak lesson. On some days you will burn the whole damn thing. But you did not give up after you fell from the bicycle for the first time, did you? Then why quit cooking? It takes a week or two to learn how to cook, and I promise it gets easier by the day. Eating a home cooked meal. Makes you lose weight, gain health, and you can't help but feel great. 
sure cooking takes time but you are worth that investment don't you think with that thought i promise to see you again next week until then keep fighting the urban fight to be fit